Words like, I was two weeks old and raped by my biological father. Somebody that you should completely trust, a person that should be excited at your birth. Now, this obviously brought home the fact that it is amazing how the people we trust are the ones that hurt us the most. And this idea that we have that those that abuse us, those that hurt us, are supposed to be strangers. It's obviously taken away by words such as my biological father hurting me. And this is what we in the criminal courts, in the domestic violence courts, experience. This is what we see. The ones that love you are the ones that hurt you. And the reality is, it's when you have relationships of trust, and this happens to you, that these children, these women, these boys and men that it happened to, go out and do the same. And it's very unfortunate that the law doesn't provide for these people to get the correct help because, let's be frank, are these people recommended to go for psychological evaluations and treatments in order to curb this disease that has penetrated our society? Obviously, with the COVID pandemic, there was clearly a spike in domestic violence cases because people actually had to face each other. They had to deal with the reality of being in an abusive relationship because the excuse of being at work, doing X, Y, and Z was gone. And divorce cases increased because of this very nature. And when divorce cases increase, you have broken families. With broken families, you get hurt people. And hurt people hurt people. That's the unfortunate part of this whole pandemic that we're actually suffering with at, with at Namibia, in Namibia.